Hello, in this tutorial I will be showing you how to import music videos into your iTunes library on OS X. This tutorial has been created using iTunes 11.4 and on OS X Mavericks. But if you're running it on Windows or a more recent version of iTunes, don't worry, this tutorial may be useful for you. And if not, uh, just follow my links to a Windows version. Okay, so we've got this video file here in my documents that is a music video that I want to put in my iTunes library. So before we move it over, let's just go into iTunes and go into preferences. Okay, now if we go over onto advanced, what we want to make sure is we've got keep iTunes media folder organized ticked because that will keep our folder with all our iTunes files uh, nice and tidy and we want it to copy the files that we put into our library into this media folder so that we don't have to worry about where we're going to put it on the computer. So have both of these ticked, click OK. OK, so we need to look for the video that we want to import into iTunes. So let's go down into the finder and here I have the music video that I want to put into this album here. Now, I just imported this from an enhanced CD. Um, click on the link from the previous tutorial on how to do that. One thing that you might need to do before you import it is just check that the video will play. So if I double click on this video, get it to play, you'll see it has to do some conversion so that it can play in quick time. So you're gonna have to do this conversion before it will be able to go into your iTunes library. So let's just wait for that conversion process to finish and then we should get a music video. Okay, so now it's done. Here's the music video. Uh, let's close this and it wants to save this converted version so I'll just I'll leave it as that it doesn't matter it's going to go into my iTunes library so save okay now this is the converted version of the video you'll see a little previews appear so that means the video is going to be able to play so if I click and drag this into my iTunes library now you'll see it's copied it in there but it doesn't appear in the album and that's because it doesn't know it's associated with this album because all iTunes knows is these are the tracks on the album. It got the information from Grace Note, but it doesn't know about this video from the Enhanced CD. Well, as a matter of fact, it just puts the video in the movie section of iTunes. See, there's a little one there. I didn't have any movies in before. Okay, so let's click on movies, and you'll see here is the video that I just imported. Um, so what we want to do is we want to move that into the album. So you can look at the different views. It doesn't appear in movies. It appears in home videos unwatched and it's easier if you just go and list view. So here we go. Here's the video. Select the video and now if you right click on it and what we do is choose get info on this video and now we can change the information about the video. So if we go on to options we can change it the media kind from home video and we want to set it to music video. And now we click OK and now it's no longer in the movie section, it's moving to a music section. And if we go over to videos in the music section, you'll see our video has appeared here. Last thing we want to do is put the video in the album. So you just get the album that you want to put it in, right click, get info, uh, yes, edit items. We want to know the name of the album, so let's just select that, copy it, and there's three tracks and there's one disc, so let's select the video right click get info go over to info put in the album information so I'll just paste that in there and we can just fill in this disc one of one and it's track number four let's say okay and now if we go over to albums we will see that it has appeared next to the album but it's not gone in it yet so it means we just need to do a bit more tinkering to get it to go into the same album so let's go and get info for the whole album again. Just a few things we can add to the video is the full names of the composer for the album. So let's copy that. Let's remember it's the year 2005 and it's genre spoken and audio. So we can put that into the info on the video. Composer, right click paste, genre, it was spoken and audio and the year was 2005. Okay, now, now it's still not gone in there so let's just right click get info on an individual track and you'll see 
part of a compilation is ticked. When you do get info on the whole album, it doesn't show you here whether it's part of a compilation. So that's why sometimes it's good just to get info on a single track and we can see that it is a compilation. So we're going to want to set the video as part of a compilation. And now, as you can see, the video has gone inside the album. It is here, track four. And now I can give it its full name. Is this the way to Amarillo? Okay, so now we've got the name of the video. Now, because we earlier set the preferences to copy new files into our iTunes library, what we can actually do is go back to our video files and we can delete them now. So I'll move them into trash because they've been copied into the iTunes folder in yeah. the music folder of your account. And so you'll see now I can still play the video even though I have deleted the original files. As you'll see, the poster frame from the video has been set as the album artwork. You can change the poster frame if you want to by playing the video, selecting a point within the video, and then right clicking and choosing set poster frame. If we close the video now, you'll see the poster frame for the video has changed and it's changed the whole album. But we might want to use the actual album artwork of the album itself to show in the album section. So follow on to the next tutorial when I will be showing you how to change the album artwork and to add lyrics to the songs. I hope this has been useful for you adding your music videos to your library from your computer. Let me know if you've got any problems in the comments below, uh, leave any feedback and feel free to take a look around my channel if you have enjoyed this video at all, even though it's just a tutorial. Um, anyway, this has been Orange Moon Network and thank you for watching.